Eyes Mr. New Mobile here. OnePlus has announced a new product line of cheaper phones called OnePlus Nord, with the goal of making the premium OnePlus experience accessible to more users. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. So this week we have some shocking news about the upcoming OnePlus Nord OnePlus he is, it may be called, and it turns out we've been wrong about a lot. We got confirmation of its name news. This can have six cameras in toto, and the phone is finally being revealed. Before you started though, please like the video. If you're a fan of OnePlus, and let me know in the comments. If you can be fixing the OnePlus, nor are not the phone altogether. The last time I told you guys about a OnePlus Instagram about the new upcoming OnePlus, nor Instagram is called OnePlus he liked, and it may be the source of a lot of new information they posted a tweet that says crack the code which is a series of numbers, and either clearly coordinates when looking at Google, maps it somewhere in China, but notes that's accompanied by the text. You guys are really good, but we think we can do better. Stay tuned to see what's coming next hashtag at new beginnings. Finally, they posted a four-part video discussing the OnePlus Note in the New Beginnings launch event, we were previously unsure of the name. It turns out, it may be the OnePlus Nord, and not the OnePlus e Instagram account for OnePlus actually messed up. Or maybe they were just calling us. They posted a picture and resume, and carefully, we can see it refers to the OnePlus Nord Instagram account actually deleted this picture pretty quickly, so it was either a genuine mistake, or the trying to throw us off track. We also had a shocking new discovery. The OnePlus Note we have two cameras on the front, and this will be at your poncho camera report came from Android Central who said that an insider has advised them the OnePlus, nor is coming with the 32 megapixel and 8 megapixel dual camera set up on the front. The 32 megapixel is of course the primary. The 8 megapixel is can be a wide angle lens. They also stated that, well it is counter to everything we've been told so far. It or they're down in the thread. We had four or two lenses at the back of the OnePlus Nord. He confirmed to have four lenses on the back and that means, if he is right. We can have six cameras in toto on the new OnePlus Nord. We also had a daily countdown from the OnePlus Nord Instagram. This tells us the official launch event is tomorrow the counter was continued in today's is even titled, see something new tomorrow for the latest news is true about the OnePlus Nord, that means OnePlus have successfully fooled all of the leakers and consumers, and for once the smartphone company has managed to keep a very good secret. Given that we had, so many weeks early on for the OnePlus Nord we even have hands on videos. It's crazy to think that this could have just been a prototype that's not a final design, and it's never going to make it to consumers. It appears that the rest of the old information was still correct though, apart from the cameras in the poncho to the chipset, and the display can be exact. The handset was originally rumored to be called variously the OnePlus 8 Lite and OnePlus C, and the OnePlus Nord name also saw its fair share of leaks, and it's the moniker the firm has settled on. In its announcement, OnePlus said that Nord is also a new product line for the company, which may mean the affordable handset, which the firm has confirmed, is on its way, will have a name that's an extension of OnePlus Nord. OnePlus founder and CEO Pete Lau confirmed that the OnePlus Nord smartphone will be available in Europe and India first, while a select number of users in North America will also get a chance to experience the new device through a highly limited beta program after launch. It's not clear why OnePlus is running a beta program in the US, or how many units will be available, but we'll update you when we know more. OnePlus also confirmed, via its Instagram channel, that 100 units of its new smartphone will be available to order at 9 a.m. BST, 4 a.m. EDT, 1 a.m. PDT, on July 1st. OnePlus Nord, everything you need to know in depth reviews. OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro meets Xiaomi's OnePlus Nord rival, the Poco F2 Pro. This is in 2015, that OnePlus is launching an affordable handset alongside its flagship offering. OnePlus hasn't provided any further information on the OnePlus Nord yet, so that name is all we know for certain, but various leaks have hinted at what we may be able to expect. According to a recent rumor, the OnePlus Nord is set to have dual front-facing cameras, 32MP plus 8MP, in a punch hole cutout in the corner of the screen. Meanwhile, a specs leak suggests the OnePlus Nord will come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset, 6GB of RAM, a 6.65-inch screen and three rear cameras, however this report also says the phone will have just one front-facing camera. An older report claims the handset will come with a MediaTek 1000 chipset, a single front camera and 6.4-inch screen. All this means we're not totally clear about what the OnePlus Nord will look like when it officially launches, and we're still awaiting word on when that will be. Stop us if you've heard this one before, but that's basically what OnePlus has been doing with its phones up until the OnePlus 7 Pro. That phone saw OnePlus SKU smartphone at a mid-range price every six months, to launching two handsets per half a year. 
with the 7 Pro, OnePlus has a phone that had most of the features of the flagship phone at the time, such as the Galaxy S10 Plus or iPhone X, with a price that undercut them, but was still distinctly more expensive than previous OnePlus phones. Even the price for the non-Pro OnePlus 7T had started to creep up. And a year later, the OnePlus 8 Pro was the company's first foray into creating a true flagship phone. While it wasn't quite as expensive as the Galaxy S20 Ultra, at $899, it's well within the flagship price range. And as the OnePlus 8 cost $699, it no longer holds the sub $600 phone its predecessors once sat in. As such, OnePlus has basically left a gap in the market of its own creation, and now looks to fill that with the Nord device family. But the company has yet to reveal full details about the OnePlus Nord, though the rumors we've rounded up so far seem reasonably on the money. As such, we can expect the OnePlus Nord to have a 6.4-inch display with a 9 as akin to the OnePlus 8 phones and be powered by a mid-range Snapdragon 765G that will help keep the price down. OnePlus hasn't officially announced the OnePlus Nord's price, but as TechRadar spotted, Lau mentioned in the IGTV reveal video that this will be company's first phone under $500 in quite a while. That tracks with rumors that the Nord may cost around $499. A limited batch of 100 pre-orders are set to open on on July 1st, so we should have a better idea of the 24 hours until we find out for sure, but thought it would be interesting if we take a look back at what we previously thought. What was called the OnePlus CC how different is tomorrow, and how wrong we were when it came to the OnePlus the leaks we already have plenty of details on design specs, nor stating cost. We even have hands-on video footage we can run through all of it now as we covered the one. Plus he has a full screen display with the ponchos of the camera top center, the display is reportedly can be a 6.4 inch supreme ruler display, with a resolution of 2340x1080, which gives us 403 pixels per inch. We already know that this is also going to be at least a 90Hz display. Considering OnePlus officially said that all future models would be. There are rumors saying that could be 120Hz. These appear to be untrue. The display will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass for this moment in time. We don't know what version this can be no fingerprint scanner on the rear of the one, plus e pretty safe to assume that we can get the in-display fingerprint scanner. When it comes to the selfie camera on the front, there are many different rumors plus C for the vertical camera alignment and enjoy camera setup, with the LED flash leaks were suggesting that it could be a triple camera setup, but is also turned out to be false. As we covered earlier. The lack of a physical fingerprint scanner on the back it will be getting an in-display one when it comes to the rear camera's reports, suggesting that the primary cameras can be a 48 megapixel sensor. The second rate will be a 16 megapixel ultra-wide, and of course we get the LED flash and the bottom one. Plus, these cameras are going to support both optical and electronic image stabilization, with the power button and alert slider on the right-hand side of the one, plus C with the volume buttons on the left. The phone is of course powered by USB Type-C, and there is number 3 and a half. No headphone jack. Many people early on reported that the OnePlus he was can be powered by MediaTek's Time N31000. It's just not can be the case. OnePlus he is can be powered by the Snapdragon 765G, the smartphone can come up with a choice of 128 or 256 storage, and also 8 or 12 gigs of RAM. The work for those that unconcerned with 5G, it will of course support early or LTE networks below the phone I mentioned measuring in 159.2x74x8.6 mm, and it will be powered by a 4000 million power battery support for 30. What fast charging when it comes to the pricing, is still very much unknown at the moment, but it will of course have to be lower than the 8. Many were estimating the range we can start around $450, but I think it could actually be lower. The $450 Lee came out very early on in the market has changed a lot since that time. The iPhone South Carolina at $400, and the Pixel Fa expected to be $350, is creating some very fierce competition in the mid-range market, with Win Plus Win to compete her that you have to do the same. Overall though, it's looking like a great phone suffering a lot for the price. It is nice to see OnePlus going back to what they know best for those of you that want to purchase one though is being launched next month in July. We don't know exactly what date yet, but Max has hinted that July has been fairly reliable when information comes and I'll be sharing it straight away. I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments to others, waiting for the OnePlus Nord what leaks do you think you're correct? Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video.